but I decided to go on Twitter. And I, you know, you should never do Twitter when you're on meds. I'm just going to say, maybe you need to think about a little bit, have someone kind of monitor you. You know what I'm talking about. And so I kind of went on and I told this one actor I really loved the movie because I watched this movie while I was sick and it was so funny. I found it so funny. And so I sent him um, just thank you. That was great. Appreciate it. Great movie. And I got this thing back that said, hey, support the brand. And I was like, and it had his picture, the same picture he has on his official site. And I was like, wow, that's kind of nice. Yeah, well, yay. You know, I thought, boy, he must get a lot of this. So how does he make the time for this? And then I got another one that said, hello. Now, this was a different little tag. Had his name, some numbers after it, different tag. And I was like, again, wow. He said, hello. This seems odd, but I'll say hello back. I said hello, and I'm just laying there, and I'm thinking, yeah, and I'm feeling grungy, and oh, and I get this tag, and I think, wow, that's really super great. Look, he, he wanted to get a hold of me. And that is super, super nice of him, super good, and pretty happy with it. Okay. Then he comes on, and he does a couple little quick things, and then he says, are you married? And I said, no, but you are. And he doesn't reply to that. Next thing I know, I hear, where do you live? And I say, Garden City. And he goes, can you send me a picture? I thought, well, that's odd, because my picture's on Twitter. You want to see my picture? It's right there on Twitter. But I send him a thumbnail, the kind of that I use on my channel. And I said, if you want to know what I really look like, check out my channel. And next thing you know, he just starts every day texting me. And I said, you know, this has been a lot of fun, but this is not you. You are not who you say you are. So as it's been fun, let's just, you know, call, cut this to the quick. And thanks for the entertainment while I was sick, but no. And he goes, well, I'm going to prove it's who I am. So there's a lot of ways to prove things, right? Well, one way to prove it is to go ahead and FaceTime me or go on to um, hang out or do whatever you have to do. And if, if I'm just a fan, that's what we're looking at, then just come on and say hey to me. And he didn't do that. He just said, I'm gonna find it. Next thing you know, on the Twitter, I get a picture of him with this letter saying, hey Valerie, it's me. I think you're really funny. You make me laugh or smile or something. I can't remember. I'm gonna show you the picture. Don't worry. And, uh, you know, here, here I am, whatever. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow. Wow, this took a lot of time. Because, here's a few things I know. And my daughter and I were looking at it. And he told me not to tell anyone because the world would not understand. No, the world wouldn't understand how I would be that stupid. That's what the world wouldn't understand. The world would understand him trying to do it, but not that I was that stupid. So I went online and decided to investigate. And of course, I'm still kind of on pink colors. And I'm looking at every picture he has on the internet. I'm just, where did he Photoshop this from? Couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Finally went on the Instagram, his official Instagram page, and I found it. Basically, he had done a video, and this guy was chopping that video, trying to find the perfect picture where it would look like that could be. And I found it. And I started chopping and I went, ah, there we are. That's him. That's what he did. That's what he did. Now, I'm not as good on Photoshop to be able to have someone sitting there holding a piece of paper. I guess I'd have to work on it a very long time. But I think that's something he, this guy uses all the time. And so I just said, oh, okay, thank you. I won't tell it anybody. And of course I went on and I sent it to my girlfriend and she came over and my daughter told my dad, did you do something for me? And I'm like, uh, what do you need? And, and he said, could, I, could you handle me sending you a whole bunch of money? And then when I come, I'll give you 20% when I come see you. I love you. You know it. Bye, guys. I'll talk to you later.